<clears throat> just wondering if it was that particular. It says it's streaming now on Facebook Live. It says it is streaming now? On my end, it oh, is. Okay, yeah, let's hope so. And <laughs> my gosh, that was uh, crazy. <laughs> so that's, that's what fixed it is just something's, whether that link, ah, oh, oh, awesome, we good. are totally, we're here, we're live. So just me, <laughs> thanks for your patience, everybody. Sorry, uh, uh, there was something up with the link. It just would never, it would time out when it tried to go live. We just shut down, made a brand new Zoom link, jump back on and, and here we are. So I can't explain it, just like I can hardly explain this mind baffling technology. So uh, um, anyways, thank you uh, for uh, coming on tonight, Connie. I really appreciate it. Um, Connie's going to share her story and uh, we're excited to hear that. Uh, but before we begin, I just wanted to make sure that you guys realize that I'm going to make this call 15 minutes or less. I guess I have to say 25 to 27 minutes or less because <laughs> I just burned 12 minutes. Anyway, uh, so we're going to talk a little bit of the tech. We just want you to know that we don't treat, diagnose, prevent anything like that. That is not what we're here to tell you and pull the wool over your eyes. We're here to just share stories of what's happened when somebody has used our technology, our wearable wellness, our wearable neurotech brain socks. However, somebody told you about it, um, you know, you're in the right place. This is an incredible thing. What we've witnessed, what I've witnessed, absolutely amazing. So what we're talking about here is a wearable neurotech. It is a pattern based technology. So this right here isn't the pattern, but it uh, is the owner's fingerprint. And that's another story. It protects the company. But his name is Jay Dallywell from Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Truly brilliant man. He developed this. When this touches the ball of the foot, it sends neuro, it sends signals through your neuroreceptors in the metatarsal part of the foot to the brain, and the brain then goes into balance. That's the easiest way to put it. Um, when you're on a boat, you sort of want to be in balance. Um, when you're actually somebody's just hopped on. Sorry, uh, I don't know what that. <laughs> Anyways, so when you're in balance, what's happening is you're not over and stuck in fight or flight. Now we're always going to drift there back and forth, but we want to be able to be like this the best we can and not sort of stuck. And if you're stuck, then this might unstick you. And, you know, I say that in all honesty, what I've witnessed is truly awesome. And it's all about personal experience. So this is a technology. Of course, it focuses on the metatarsal part of the foot. It instantly makes you stronger, better balance, more range of motion, and it helps with different kinds of pain relief. Obviously, you would have to experience that for yourself to know. And I don't want to sit here and make any claims. I can claim or we can claim 98% with plantar fasciitis. A lot of people suffer with that and 94% with diabetic neuropathy. Huge, huge, uh, you know, epidemic with that as well. And uh, here it is also, this technology comes in a insole. So as you can see, there it is. Obvious, the tech is right here. It touches that ball of the foot. We also have another version. So that's one is shoes and boots and all that stuff. And this one here is a thin sole. Again, here we go. Same technology. This can go in sandals, flip flops, cowboy boots, skates. I've seen tons of things, low profile shoes. You wouldn't want that because your foot would be half sticking out of the shoe. If you put this, you probably are going to be bang on and exactly where you want to be. So then it also comes in a knee brace and I haven't taken it out. I will do so now. So here we go. Amazing made knee brace. But again, it's hard to see on the shine. The technology is in here. So in saying all that, if you have this, you don't need those. If you have these, you don't need this. And you don't need these if you have this, because this is a patch that does the same thing as these. Wow. So that means we can help a lot of people based on their lifestyle, or a sport that they're doing where they wouldn't wear the other. So no matter what, we can always make sure that, you know, you're going to see results. What I want to do now is instead of boring you with all that, we have other patches. We have immunity patches. We have optimal REM sleep patches. We have optimal, optimal everything, anything to do with the brain. And then yes, and you have one on too as well, Connie, it's the sleeve and there's the pattern right there. That is cognitive. It's neck up, not so much physiological as, as this technology. This is, you know, a reaction time, awareness, um, so many different things, energy, um, helping with depression, anxiety. It's pretty crazy what we've been witnessing. So 
in saying all that, uh, that is sort of as brief as I can make it. All I want you to do is know that there's a 30 day money back, get enough products so that you can truly put this to the test, do it for 30 days, see what happens and then go from there and your sponsor or your uh, friend who sold this to you or, or, or brought it to your awareness is going to help you with that. So Connie, but thank you so much. Uh, thank you for coming on. Uh, this is your first time sort of doing this in, in a grander scale and and we really appreciate it because your story is going to resonate with a lot of people. So, so go ahead and tell us how you uh, found out about Vox Life and, uh, and, and we'll go from there. All right. Well, thank you so much, Paul. So my name is Connie Higgins and I am a mama of four. And um, I also am a wife and I've been an educational assistant for 20 years. And I have absolutely fallen in love with Vox Life. So... When I was 12 years old, I was playing competitive fastball and um, I was playing my favorite position, which was catcher. Um, we were having a warm up, and uh, the third baseman threw a ball over my head. I leaped to catch it. And when I came down, a spare ball had rolled into the batter's cage. And when I stepped onto the ball, my foot separated. I separated a bone in my foot. My dad was the coach, so he tied my shoe nice and tight and said, I'm sorry, Con, but you've got to get out there. So my shoe was tight enough that it held my ankle in that spot, but I was the next day put on crutches for six weeks. <laughs> um, so fast forward 30 years, hate to say that, but yes, 30 years later, um, I had had my four children. I was no longer playing competitive ball and my ankle pain and swelling was catching up with me. So, um, I was constantly rolling my ankle um, and uh, every morning I would wake up with swelling um, and I would make my, uh, my way downstairs by holding on to the railing um, and once I got moving a little bit then it would loosen up and it wasn't as bad. I would still be limping um, and then ball season Every ball season, um, I was still involved. Uh, I had been lucky enough to um, play with a women's two-pitch league, which is way more just kind of like a beer league, lots of fun um, and uh, lots of socializing. But of course, that passion for ball is still within me. So um, it got to a point that uh, I was having to ask to play catcher, which is completely different than playing back catcher. Back catcher on two-pitch is completely different than catcher in fastball. So um, anyway, I was then also having to get a runner and some of the times I'd be running to first and still roll my ankle or rounding bases. If I didn't have a runner, that, that was uh, constantly happening. So what was happening was on Tuesday night, I would go, I would warm up, I would play as best as I could. I would wake up the next morning completely in pain um hobble around for about the next six days just in time to be better to play again on the following do, tuesday do it all over <laughs> <laughs> so anyway um the social part was definitely what was keeping me going but it was discouraging that i couldn't actually play what i was loving my um chiropractor that i was seeing was constantly doing the graston technique on me so i would go to the chiropractor about once every two to three weeks and if you're not familiar with Graston, I, I describe it like taking a butter knife and scraping at the scar tissue that's, that was built up around my ankle to increase the blood flow. So that would, it would hurt really badly while I was there. Then for the, about the next two days, it would give me some relief. And then I'd be right back to where I was again. I was, then um, my chiropractor suggested that I get a pair of custom orthotics. So I got my custom orthotics. They are nice and hard. They felt good on my feet. My pain level was more tolerable. So I continued to play ball. I was able to play a little bit better. And then I rolled my ankle and I was down and out and my healing was taking longer to the point that I ended up having to give it up. I went to a sports specialist and they more or less said, you have the early onset of arthritis and you're just going to have to live with this pain. So to say I was discouraged is an understatement. I was having difficulty playing with my kids, even out in the yard and um, just hobbling around. So there are many people out there that suffer with great pain all the time. And I feel bad now that I'm in this, um, in with Vox Life, I realize how mine is so minimal compared to what other people have gone through and what they've experienced. So anyway, 
Um, the fall of 2019, I got an email from Edna Kerrigan, which is my dad's cousin's wife. Okay. She okay. sent an, a message to our whole family telling what she had been involved in. And um, I was instantly intrigued. My dream is that someday the medical sciences will come together with the natural healing and bam, everybody will have the best healing possible. And Vox Life is that. This the medical science and the natural healing all in one. So drug free. I just was like, oh, Anna, this is mind blowing to me. So anyway, I ended up, somebody has hopped on to her yeah, um, um, So anyway, I ended up um, saying to Edna, I'm really, I'm, I'm really interested, but the timing just is not right. It's right before Christmas with a family of, with four kids, it's just not good timing. Edna being as generous as she is, um, like, I think maybe the next day said to me, Connie, I need to get these on your feet. You've been suffering long enough. Let me gift them to you. And I said, Edna, no, that's not like, I can't, I can't do that. She said, let me do that for you. So anyway, she showed up at my house before school. She had an appointment to go to. I was trying to get four kids ready to get out of the house. I was, um, trying to get myself ready to get out of the house. And she had like 10 minutes. And if you know, Edna Kerrigan, she loves to talk. Uh, so do I. <laughs> so anyway, we were rushed. We were trying to get through everything that she needed to tell me. Um, she quickly did a balance test on me, but I thought there is no way that this is going to do what this hard plastic has been doing for me. So I appeased her and I said, okay, Edna, I'll give it a try. Sure. I put them in my shoes and I think it was three days later, she messaged me. No, she called me and she said, Connie, how, are, how have you been feeling? And I said, well, I, I am actually, I'm so blown away that I did not have to bring or that I did not have to switch out my orthotics. I had brought these along with me because I thought there is no way this floppy little thing is going to do what this um, support has done. And uh, I said, but I will tell you, as much relief as I'm getting during the day, I'm still waking up and my ankle is still swollen and I'm still experiencing pain. And she said, oh, Connie, you need the dynamic duo. And I was like, oh, damn, sales pitch, and here it comes. So anyway, I said, okay, and now what's the dynamic duo? She said, you need to wear the socks so that when you take your shoes off, you still have the tech on. Very and, important. And uh, she said, yeah. and she said, if you can actually sleep in them, that would be even better. You don't have to, but if you can, that would be better. So I said, can I get back to you? And let me really think about this. So I talked to my husband and I decided to go the very cheapest route that I possibly could. I decided that if I was going to do this for myself, I was going to do it for my whole family. And so Edna walked me through everything. And I signed up as an associate that night with zero intention of ever selling the product and just fitting my family at the cheapest possible rate to give this actually a try. So I ordered the $200 party pack, which I don't recommend to anybody because it's nine random package, uh, nine random items. So I was fitting my family. Luckily there's six of us. So everybody was actually able to fit into a product oddly enough. So anyway, I started wearing the socks and soon quickly realized that I needed to get another, another pair. So I ordered myself another pair so that I could be consistent. I tried to wear them to sleep at night. It took me almost three weeks before I could be consistent and before I could be convinced that I no longer had ankle pain and swelling. And I will tell you, I no longer had ankle pain and swelling. So um, it, was, it was absolutely incredible. The other part that I wasn't going to share, but I feel like I might as well just while I'm at it. By the time that all of this happened, I actually did not hook up with Vox Life as an associate until almost uh, March. So I signed up, but I didn't actually purchase my kit until almost March. And my son, who was 10, had decided to climb a 40-foot tree in our backyard and tried to jump from one tree to the next. Needless to say, he was not very successful and luckily only walked away with a yeah. concussion. He was found in our backyard and... Um, he was in a lot of pain, but nothing was broken, no internal bleeding, but his head. So I said to him, where are your one pair of Vox socks? And he said, I don't know, mom. I said, I need to find them. We need to get them on you. He said, I think they're dirty. 
I said, I don't care. I put them on and his healing happened at a faster rate than what I would have ever imagined. We, we did include um, an improved diet for him and, um, and gave him lots of sleep when he needed it. Um, but those socks continue to help him with his headaches. And um, every one of my children and my husband have their own testimonial as far as what the products have done. Now they won't tell me what they're, yeah. <laughs> what it is, yeah. but yeah. they, they definitely, I have um, experienced it and watched it with all of them from my daughter and her hockey with athletic, uh, her athleticism improving even more. Um, my next daughter who was not uh, very good at hockey, it, Im it improved her um, stick handling skills that was noted by her sister. Um, my other, my other son, um, the socks have helped with his focus. And then, like I said, my youngest one, it has definitely helped with his uh, concussion headaches. Wow. I, um, on the weekend was using um, a shovel and helping my husband dig trees and I was sore today. So I always wear or pretty much always have on my socks and my insoles. I still stick to Edna's advice of dynamic duo for myself. And uh, I was feeling sore this morning. My neck was really quite um, bothersome. It still is a little bit tight, but I threw an HPT patch on. And I don't know if it's psychological, but I honestly feel that sometimes there just seems to be that extra little boost, even though it's not scientifically proven that it does anything more. Um, also, right before I got on this call, my nose started running and I threw a Neurovax yeah. patch on, which optimizes your immunity. And I have to say, my breathing is completely clear. These have been amazing for my son's sinuses. Um, and his breathing. And then I will just touch on these REM patches as well. Um, they have helped my 15 year old daughter sleep very well. And even almost to completely um, getting rid of her nightmares or night terrors. So this product as well has been just amazing. So I just, one more thing I wanted to say is that this amazing uh, Neurotech these are my absolute favorite socks. The white no-show athletic sock is my favorite. I'm not very good at keeping them white, but I do love them. <laughs> well, that's, that's incredible. Awful. Hey, I, wow. I mean, it just shows how many people are benefiting and, and you know, you have, you have your own testimony. We all do. And it doesn't matter how tiny you think it is, or I used to think that with me. I got the energy. I didn't have tired, achy feet. I, I thought that was nothing. And like people suffer with that. They have a more productive day. That's, that could be life-changing. That could let you do a job you couldn't do before or whatever it is. So, um, you know, telling us your story and all, you know, your family's benefiting and obviously you've been out helping others. Uh, truly, truly awesome. I thank you for jumping on here. Thank you everybody Sorry for being patient. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, try to figure that one out next time, but I know the solution now faster <laughs> instead of trying all the time. So thanks, Connie. I do Connie. want to get the gab, so I'm sorry that it no, went nice. No, we're awesome. We're awesome. <laughs> we might be a minute or uh, as long as we're within, <laughs> close to it. So thanks again. You have a great night. Thank you, Paul. And thank you yes. to Edna Kerrigan for making yes. me step out of my comfort zone. For sure. See you. See you later. See you, everybody. Bye everyone.